Hello, this is Matt Moser with Alchemy Solutions, and today what I'd like to do is cover underneath netcobol for .NET, um, receiving the command line, and more in particular, receiving the command line and the ability to uh, set parameters during debug for it, um, in conjunction with how Microfocus would do it and an easy transition uh, method for you to, um, to retain your logic pretty much as is. Um, when you want to use it. So without too much ado, um, I want to show you the microfocus style code and then um, how easily it is to adapt to use the uh, Fujitsu style code. And so let's continue here a little bit. Here is the microfocus code underneath special names. Command line is my program command line is what I named mine here. And then as you go down a little bit further, um, we have what would typically be found as accept WS command line for my program command line which was named up above and here's WS command line. The replacement that we can do and I'll show you the program I've named command line here shortly is to call command line using WS command line. Whatever's in the command line will get filled out the way it did up underneath um, Microfocus, and so uh, let's go ahead and um, show you that program. Um, moving on a little bit further, as we look at this program, we have our procedure division using the command line that got passed in. Our message return. The purpose for the message return is if it finds any problems, for example, no um, command line parameters, it'll note it'll notify you of that, and you can actually check it during the run of the program. Um, kind of continuing on a little bit further, let me show you the uh, Fujitsu um, style. Basically up underneath special names, um, you have the ability to find out the number of arguments that were passed over and then you can iterate through those arguments, getting them one at a time. I have an array which I'm filling the items into right here, which is PICX128 occurring 10 times. And if we go down a little bit further, I'll show you how that happens. Basically, it accepts um, the argument number up above, and I'll show that to you here shortly. And after it gets the number of arguments, it iterates through this function. I apologize. Iterates through this function one at a time, filling the command line items one at a time, then incrementing. Inc <laughs> incrementally going through them all. And so really this uh, fairly simple program and that's really um, about it. And so um, let's go ahead and we'll do a quick animate. I'll show you where the uh, debug options are and the properties and here's the property for it. Um, it's on the debug tab and so we're going to slide down a little bit and here's your command line arguments. I have them filled in and so if we execute this program um, well let's go ahead and run it and we take a look slide this down sure enough it received all the parameters that we were looking for so if you have any questions you can always reach um, Alchemy Solutions support um, or you can reach me at Matt underscore Moser at Mosersoft.com any questions or concerns please reach out have a great day thanks bye